The army of the Chaos Dwarfs is built on their artillery and war machines. It's built on steampunk technology that destroys and annihilates everything in its path. Some of the units that we can expect to see in Warhammer 3 when the Chaos Dwarfs are launched are the following. The Death Shrieker rocket launcher. This is essentially a Hellstorm rocket battery but on steroids. Instead of shooting multiple missiles with lots of explosives in them, they shoot one missile packed with demon souls that upon impact shatter and explode in an area around them. They have various different ammunitions they can use for infantry, artillery or siege works. Then comes the Earthshaker cannon, a cannon that is so massive not just in comparison with dwarves but with its payload and damage. The explosive burrows deep into the ground, exploding like a bunker buster, creating shockwaves that demolish everything from earthworks, walls, and lines of infantry. Following this, we get the Skull Cracker War Machine, an arcane mechanical conglomeration of hammers, blades, and brutal picks designed by the demon smiths to smash, tear, and rip apart their foes. These blades are especially good at destroying enemy constructs, war machines, and defenses. They produce a grinding sound as they move with their clogs and machines and they chew through flesh, bone, stone and steel indiscriminately. The magma cannons are an upgrade to the flame cannons of their cousins, the Dawi. They are extremely good artillery that fires in close range, melting the lines of infantry as if they were nothing but paper. Fire that comes out of these cannons comes into molten metal, and anything that touches it is instantly incinerated and eradicated from the battle. The Dread Quake Mortar is one of my favorites. It's essentially a super large, hyper mobile, steam powered railgun. This gun fires giant bombs that are fired as mortars into the enemy lines, and on impact, the battleground shudders like hammer blow on an anvil, turning dozens or hundreds of warriors into burned chunks of flesh in instance. Often the crew for such a siege machine is ogres, ongors and their slave masters, whipping them with fists or chains to make sure they work faster and fire quicker. And finally, the Iron Demon War Machine, a train as cursed if not more than Thomas the Tank Engine, possessed by chaos corrupted and demanding Blood. Creaming souls of demons are bound to steel and they are made to go to work. It works very similar to the steam tank except it's better in every way. It's a train that does not need tracks and it will create a line through the enemy forces devouring, destroying and eradicating everything. It has steam cannons attached to it as well other weapons of mass destruction. Apart from this, it also uses arcane artillery to hit their targets from afar as well as from close combat. Powered by a furnace of coals, bones and screaming spirits, this machine is capable of smashing down any fortification and ripping through any line of staunch spears. I am really excited especially about this last one, the Dreadquake Mortar as well, as these will bring such unique items to the battlefield. Being able to use heavy equipment in a battlefield will be very interesting, especially with the size of the current sieges and hopefully once one day those sieges will be fixed. And that's that ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about these amazing artillery and war machines that the Dawi, the Dawi Tsar will bring to the table. I am very much looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.